very fine good morning let now we will see about how to install python first open google and then search python which will redirect you to python.org click on downloads then download python 3.11 so the python download is in progress after downloading the python exe just double click on the exe file open that file then customize installation then press next and then you can choose the folder as c colon slash python 311 and install python 2 so python which installed in c colon slash python 311 so click on install yes so the installation of 64 bit python is in progress please wait for few more seconds So Python 3.11.0, the required packages which installed in C colon slash Python 3.11 folder. Once the installation was completed, you can go to the start menu and click on Python console. To verify whether python is working properly or not yes successfully installed then click on close button then go to start menu and click python 311 64 bit then for verification you can type print you can type print double quotes hello valve then yes working fine now you can close that window and open a command prompt windows key plus r then cmd then the command prompt which will open so you can go to you can set a path so set path equal to already path percentage path percentage then semicolon c colon slash python 311 now you can verify the python version python hyphen v yes the python is working fine then press ctrl z to exit from python now python is working fine now you can go to the google and download pip so pip installed so now you can download pip so sorry download get pip package so you can go to get pip so i think directly you can go to get pip.com google it get pip sorry get then it will go to download and install the latest version of pip so you can download the latest version of pip get pip.py that is file name that's get pip.py so you can give that name so you can click on that github website so here there is a file which will be named as get pip.py so you can click on that file so get pip.py this is a file so bootstrap for a website you can download get pip then save the file as save us then you can go to c drive and then save get pip.py save the file or c drive okay c colon user del you can save the file now you can open the command prompt and then type python get pip.py so the pip was installed downloading pip so step one for python installation after installing python you can search get hyphen pip.py file so which is downloaded from the jit after downloading the python file and then you can type python get hyphen pip.py then you can install require packages so whatever packages needed for your project you can install those packages now i will install 
Jupyter for IDE. So pip install Jupyter notebook. Then go to the Python 3.11. Then sorry, VAR. Then you can go to the folder scripts. CD scripts. Then you can type directory. Inside that the pip was installed. So in the set path, you can again go to any directory. That's not a problem. You can set path equal to because pip, pip path is needed so percentage path percentage then semicolon then you can add this path to c colon slash python 11 slash scripts so you can present that now you can type pip install jupyter paste notebook notebook then Jupyter notebook again go to Google pip install Jupyter py spelling is mistake J U P Y T E R. So J U P Y T E R. Jupyter Notebook, which installing Jupyter Notebook. After installing Jupyter Notebook. So the required packages for Jupyter Notebook, which installation is in progress. Please wait for a few seconds. After that, you can type J U P Y T E R node. You can type that a Jupyter notebook which will be executed and open this website. So this is a package. This is running. So yes, the notebook which is currently is in progress. These are the clusters. 
So file some of the dead tip, hello, page, C. So some of the required file. Now you can click new Python 3 IPY kernel. So which open a new untitled page. I will name it as first exercise. So rename. So I will test print of hello world. Then you can execute the same. Yes, hello world is working. Inside that I will install pip install the required package as something called as what are the required packages for my project. You can install those packages. So the first package is named as numpy. So I will execute the same. So initially I will verify whether numpy package is installed or not. So pip install numpy. So the collecting numpy packages and the required packages are installed in my machine. So numpy package was installed. After that similar way, exclamatory mark. So pip install. Then the second package which is named as SCIPY. So I will execute the file. The third package is named as pip install something called as phantas. So all those required packages are installed in my machine. It's in running in progress. So start, please wait for a few seconds. So now last one, phantas. So these are the required packages. Fantas. So now all those packages are installed. This is for your first experiment. So initially download uh, Python and install it in your PC and then pip install. So get pip file which should download it and then click on python get hyphen pip dot py. Send pip was installed. After installing pip, then you can install pip install Jupyter Notebook. Then after installing Jupyter Notebook, you can start the same Jupyter Paste Notebook. So Jupyter IDE was started. Here you can click New Python Code. Then the IDE, which is very interactive IDE, which is open for the user. So this is what you execute the Python file. Thanks for watching. This is for first experiment. Thank you.